Hi golfers, Nick here for Nick's Tally Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week in golf tips, we're going to take a look at the 7-iron swing versus the driver swing, hopefully answer some of your questions out there. It's probably the most popular question I get is, why do I struggle with the driver? Well, in today's video, we're going to answer those questions. Right golfers, check this out. New tech here from Golf Tech. If you take a look at the screen here, as I step onto the mat, these cameras are picking up my body movement. So this is a new adaption here at Golf Tech. Amazing technology we're getting through these cameras. So it's gonna pick up all the motion data that we had before just through the camera. So amazing technology. I'm looking really excited to share this with you guys over some videos here. But in today's video, we're gonna really concentrate on the differences between the iron and the driver. First up guys, I'm gonna hit a shot with each of these clubs. Then we're gonna take a look at the club data. First of all, like, clearly they're different clubs. They're designed to be hit differently. One's off the ground. One's off the tee, so why do you golfers out there struggle? So first of all, just take my sort of standard seven iron here. So you can see on the screen, pretty straight shot, just pushed out a little bit to the right, it's gonna pitch there around 155. This is just sort of standard seven iron. Pretty straight shot, I pretty much take that. Um, you can see on the screen there, probably a tight little draw, I think, little push draw. Let's have a look at the data. So yeah, the swing path there, 3.6 degrees inside out, five degrees downwards, launch around 20, slight tiny little draw, contact was good out the middle. So that's my standard seven iron swing, okay? So I'm hitting down on the golf ball. Now, what changes do I need to make to hit the driver? Because a lot of you do struggle with the driver for some reason. So let's hit a drive, and then we're gonna take a look at the swings and see what changes I make at kind of set up and then throughout the course of my golf swing. And now with the driver, so I'm definitely going to make some changes here. Now, I think a lot of you golfers do struggle kind of with the setup mainly to begin with. So we're going to talk about that in a second. But first of all, let me just hit my sort of standard driver swing here. So you can see on the screen there, pretty straight shot. Driver's different, right? We're trying to swing a lot straighter. So first of all, there's a difference in ball position, there's a difference in the angle attack. So I'm expecting straighter swing path, an attack angle slightly upwards. Remember, I've got five degrees down, three, four degrees into out with the seven iron. So 1.3 degrees into out with the driver, 1.4 degrees upwards, contact pretty good again. So you can see the differences in those two shots. Now, let's take a look at the comparison of those data just before we take a look at my golf swing. First up, let's take a look at the differences in the club data. You can see the data here on the screen. So I was around 90 miles an hour with my iron, around 110 with my driver. So clearly there's a difference in speed. Obviously the clubs are a different length. The driver's a lot lighter. So because it's lighter and it's longer, you can create a bit more speed. But there are some differences that we do in the golf swing, which we're gonna get into later. Other comparisons there. Attack angle for me is a big one five degrees down compared to 1.4 degrees up. Why so different? And I think this is where a lot of you golfers struggle with the stack and tilt golf swing, is you go from hitting some good seven irons, then you try and dot the same swing with a driver, but they're clearly different, right? Five, six degrees difference in attack angle with these two clubs. And finally, they can see a difference there in the club bar, 3.6 degrees into out, 1.3 degrees into out with the driver. Why is that different? So there are a reason for that. There's a reason why we swing straighter and more up with the driver. There's a reason why we swing more down and more into out with the iron. So we're gonna take a look now at my swing and compare the differences. You can see there the differences between the iron and driver. So I'm hitting very slightly upwards with the driver and with the iron I'm hitting downwards and more inside out. So why does that happen? Well, first of all, guys, you've got to take a look at setup. This is probably the most important part. If you just do one thing from this video, change your setup if you struggle taking your iron swing onto the driver swing. So first of all, take a look at the screen here. On the left hand side here I've got the iron swing and on the right hand side I have the driver swing. First of all guys, take a look at where my left shoulder is. So I'm just going to draw a straight line from the middle of my left shoulder. And you can see that with the iron, my left shoulder is in front of the ball and then with the driver, my left shoulder is slightly behind the ball. This is crucial. This is pretty much the low point of the swing. Think about the left arm and the shaft and the left shoulder lining up that is your low point. If the goal swing is a circle, I'll draw this circle here. If the goal swing is a circle, you can see that with the iron there, my club would be coming downwards before it reaches that low point of the left shoulder and the complete opposite with the drive. I've gone past that low point of the swing now and coming upwards. That left shoulder is also critical for the swing path. When you hit the ball before the left shoulder, you're gonna swing more outwards at the ball. If you hit the ball after, you're gonna swing more from the outside. So by having the ball on the left shoulder there, you're gonna swing pretty straight 
and a pretty level angle attack, all things being equal. Obviously, it's important how you swing because these things can get changed at impact. But setting up, you need to make sure that when you set up with the driver, you bump your hip forward, create a side tilt, keep your head in the middle, roughly in the middle of your stance. With the iron here, I'm moving a bit more to the left. Another way to look at this, if I draw a line here from my left heel, so first of all, the ball position's different, as you can see, but also the way I set up here. With the iron, I'm setting my two centers on my shoulders and my hips more to the left, and you can see that that line there is on my left ear. From that left heel, where's the driver? You can see there's clearly two or three inches gap from my left foot to the uh, left ear at that point. Now, I do stand wider. When you stand wider, that does take your head back a little bit, and with my driver, I bump my hip forward. But with the iron, I'm setting both my centers of my hips and my shoulders to the left. I'm setting them up there. That's gonna help me be more consistent in the goal swing. So big difference there at setup, guys. You need to change the way you set up to the golf ball. If there's a way that you can video this, that would help. But just the key pointers there, wider stance with the driver, ball position more forward with the driver, bump the hip forward, keep your head stable at setup, compared to bumping both centers forward like you do line. So there's a big difference there at setup. Let's take a look at the goal swing. On the screen here, I've just put a circle around the head and a line there on the right leg. So we can use these as reference points. We've seen the differences at setup. Just one more point there. You can see my head's a little bit more tilted down. I'm bending a little bit more forward with the iron as it's a shorter club. Now, as we take the club back here, you'll see how I keep my head pretty much in that circle all the way up to the top with the iron and pretty much the same with the driver. The big difference here really is the length of the swing. So let's take a look at some of the data here that we get at Golf Tech. On the screen here, guys, I just brought up the turn numbers, okay? Simple one to understand how much you rotate your body. And you can see there, between the shoulders with the driver and the iron, you can see there's about 10 degrees difference of rotation and about 17 degrees difference with the hip. So I'm definitely turning more in the backswing. That gives me potential longer goal swing. Like I said earlier, the drive is longer, it's easier to swing, and certainly we're trying to create a little bit more speed here. There was about 20 miles an hour difference in speed. So by turning more in the backswing, it makes a big difference to help you swing the club faster with the driver. Just another point here, guys, if you look at my body position in relationship to the circle on the line, it's very similar. Just have a little bit more rotation. Let's take a look at what happens in the downswing here. So as we start the swing down, you can start to see how my hips are bumping forward. I'm keeping my head as stable as possible. It does move a little bit forward here, but I'm trying to keep that head as stable as possible and push my hips forward. So by the time we come back down to impact position here, you can see kind of similar. My head position's pretty stable, my hips are pushing forward. So not really changing much here from this angle. I'm just trying to keep my head stable and push my hips forward through the swing. But the big difference was how we set up. So if we take another line here from the, the left shoulder straight down, you can see that, again, that impact there, my left shoulder's in front with the iron but slightly behind with the driver, that's gonna help me hit slightly upwards on the ball, as I discussed earlier. And as we go into the follow through here, you can still see a right arm parallel, very similar with the head position and the hips. And then by the time we finish the goal swing here, at, so at position nine here, we're gonna take it through to, uh, you're gonna see a difference here, maybe a little bit more with the turning. So let's take a look at the data. So at the finish there, guys, you can see that my shoulder turn is only a fraction more with the driver. So that momentum just takes me around a bit further. My hip sway is very similar. I know we set up a little bit different, but certainly the hips have moved forward the same amount. And then the hip turn there, again, slightly longer with the driver swing. So basically similar looking position there in terms of where my body position is, but definitely a little bit more rotation in the finish. So guys, to summarize there, big difference at setup slight difference in the backswing, very similar impact, slight difference in the follow through, but the actual goal swing is not too different. Really the key to this guys is to set up differently between the iron and driver. That's really gonna help you play better golf. So that's it guys. The number one question on my channel, why do I struggle with the driver with the stack and tilt goal swing? Well, hopefully that video goes a long way to help answer that question and help you golfers out there play better golf. So really, to summarize guys, you just gotta set up differently. The swing isn't much different, but the setup is so crucial for you to hit this golf ball consistently. If you do need some extra help, maybe check out the Skillist app. I do online lessons on there, and I know a lot of you golfers out there do take lessons online, um, and I know you're having some great success with that, so do really appreciate the support. Guys, if you've got any comments on that, any questions, post them in the box below. I know a lot of you do read the comments and answer each other, so sometimes something can help one person, it will help someone else as well. So do post your comments below. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
And in the meantime, guys, make sure you stay on the grid, and I'll see you again next week for another video.